You're welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at the balance sheet, also known as the statement of financial position. So we are going to start with the formatting of the balance sheet. Yeah. The first thing we start with is non-current assets. And current assets whereby we have the cost, then accumulated depreciation, then network value. So the non-current assets, we have things like um, land, motor vehicle, furniture, things like that. Anything that stays in a business for a period of more than one year, it is a non-current asset. So the cost will be given. Then the depreciation, you calculate it, they'll give you the percentage. Then for land, land doesn't depreciate. So for land, you put a dash. Then these, like the rest, depreciate. Then to get net book value, you will get cost minus accumulated depreciation. So for land, it will be this minus zero. So it will be the same amount. Then for this, it will be this minus this. And even this one. Then after you get the total non-current assets, you only add the network value figures to get the total. Then we go to current assets. Current assets, it will have things like cash at hand, bank, Inventory, closing inventory. Or stock. We have trade receivables. Or details. We have prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses, it can be prepaid, it can be prepaid rent, prepaid electricity, stuff like that. Something that was paid in advance. Then you will get the total current assets. Put it here. Then you add this plus this to get the total assets. Total assets like that. Then we go to the part for equity and liabilities. So we start with equity. Under equity, we have things like um, capital, we have retained earnings. We have um, capital reserve. Then, in case the drawings, in the question, you list drawings. Then you add net profit, the net profit from the statement of profit or loss. You add it here. In case it's a net loss, you list net loss. Yeah. So that's how it works. Then another thing you're supposed to have is liabilities, but they retain enough space. So why should I put them? Let me put them here. So they're supposed to be put down. I just let my space is done. So liabilities. We have the non-current. Non-current liabilities, it's mostly 
bank loan as long as it's above one year bank loan and then debenture most of those two then current asset i mean current liabilities current liabilities we have trade payables trade payables for creditors we have um accrued expenses yeah anything else it's mainly those two so this is the content of the balance sheet these are the things that you're supposed to put in the balance sheet then like you add the total equity plus the total liabilities so total equity and total liabilities total equity and liabilities and it must be the same as the total assets it must be equal to the total assets in case it's not equal you do not worry but most of the times do not look at balancing look at the entries yeah at least get cash correct bank correct and then in the balance sheet we only record the closing balances the closing balance is like the closing balance of bank it's what you put here the closing balance of cash it's what you put here closing balance of inventory it's what we put here even trade receivables that balance they, they tell you that the, the receivables that that may be 31st december was this so that's the figure that you put here then prepared expenses you put our closing balances only not the opening balances yeah so thanks for watching in the next video we shall have an example